we came up with baseball bats and hockey sticks. And we got to Columbia, we broke through the police line. We were talking about burning the fucking place down. It wasn't just enough to build up barricades so the cops could break them down. So they engaged in combat with them. The pigs called in reinforcements. In the late 1960s, college campuses erupted in violence. This university is now a means of production, producing the mechanism of human oppression. This university is hooked into servicing the corporation and hooked into servicing the war machine. At Columbia, a student named Mark Rudd led the protest group SDS on a violent week-long takeover of five university buildings. At its peak, SDS had over 100,000 members nationwide. And as the group gained influence on campus, their actions became increasingly destructive. But to Mark Rudd, the group wasn't quite violent enough. So Mark and a number of other students left SDS and started a group called the Weather Underground. The Weathermen, as they were commonly known, were fighting to bring communist revolution to the United States, and they openly advocated the violent overthrow of the American government. And when the group issued a formal declaration of war against the United States, they soon proved it wasn't just idle talk. The Weathermen went on a six-year bombing campaign that resulted in nearly 30 explosions around the country. They bombed police departments, courthouses, the National Guard, the Pentagon, the State Department, and even the U.S. Capitol. By the 1980s, nearly all of the Weathermen had turned themselves in or been caught. Most have their freedom today, but with few exceptions, they still share the radical politics that turn them into terrorists. Where are the Weathermen now? Ringleaders Bernardine Dorn, Bill Ayers, and Mark Rudd are all college professors. Yep, if you're a communist who's declared war on the U.S. government, if you've set off bombs all over the country and spent years on the run, there's always one place where you will be welcomed with open arms. Academia.